hello guys and welcome back so as you know that we now have the movement and the animations as well so the next thing which we will be doing and which is now required for our game is the camera movement okay so in this game we will be creating our own camera okay we will not be using the cine machine camera because many of you guys were telling me that uh, create your own camera controller because they want to learn how to create a professional type uh, camera controller okay so we will be creating our own camera controller so in order to start work on our camera controller let's first of all select our camera okay so here it is as you can see what we're gonna do now is in the same transform area we will create a new game object so if you right click on the main camera click on create uh, empty parent okay now as you can see they are on the same uh, transform okay let's name the parent as camera manager okay then uh, click on the main camera again and click on create empty okay now as you can see it created another game object in the same transform area so we have the camera manager then we have this game object and let's actually name this as camera pivot okay so camera manager camera pivot then we have the camera all right now we will be needing to create a script for our camera in the player movement folder let's go ahead and create a c sharp script by the name of camera manager let's click on the camera and drag and drop the script that is it now we can open this up first of all we will remove the start and update method and at the top we will create a reference to a transform of our player okay so let's name this as player transform okay let me make the t capital so then after this we will create a vector 3 for our camera follow velocity so we will say private vector 3 camera follow velocity this will be equals to vector 3 dot 0 by default then after this we will create a float by the name of camera follow speed and this will be by default equals to 0.3f then in the awake method first of all we need to add uh, this reference okay for the player transform so we're gonna say player transform equals to find object of type we're gonna use the player manager script in order to find the transform of the player okay so we will say find object of type player manager dot transform all right after this let's create a method in order for the camera to follow the player in the environment so we will name this as follow target okay and in here we will create a vector 3 by the name of target position and to this target position now we're going to set our uh, uh, position between the camera and the player so first of all we will use uh, vector 3 dot smooth damp okay and for the current position we will pass transform dot position then for the target position we will pass the uh, player transform actually so 
player transform dot position then we will say ref so now it needs the velocity so we will pass camera follow velocity and then at the end we will uh, give the speed to the camera so camera follow speed okay so this is the whole line you can see it okay now after this what we can do we will simply say uh, transform dot position equals to target position and the target position is the player transform actually the target position uh, should be now the target position vector 3 okay this vector 3 because right here we set the distance between the camera and the player okay and right here this should be transform dot position I don't know why it type player transform dot position it should be transform dot position and then right here player transform dot position okay that is it now if we click on our player manager okay in here let's first of all create a reference to our camera manager script okay then in here we will say camera manager equals to find object of type we want to find the camera manager script all right now in the uh, late update we will call our uh, camera manager dot follow target that is it and I have noticed an error right here I've typed vector 4 it should be vector 3 so now if you simply uh, save the game and get back right here okay now this is the camera as you can see this is the player everything is set up now if we play the game click on the player as you can see the player transform is automatically attached but if you notice the camera moves to the player feeds okay it is following the uh, player but it is inside the player feeds as you can see and we actually don't want this so in order to fix this what we're gonna do now is we will open our camera manager like this okay and we will select the camera pivot and now we can change this y value in order to move, move the camera upwards so I think uh, 1.5 will be a good value for this and then in order to uh, set the depth of the camera we need to select the main camera and change the z value as you can see so let's make the z as minus 2 and the camera pivot should be 2 I think because 2 is looking good and now as you can see it is following the player for now as you can see the player get stuck on these grass because these grass also now have the uh, mesh collider we're gonna remove mesh collider but now as you can see the player is moving but if you notice the player is a little bit uh, jiggly type as you can see okay the player jiggles when walk so first of all if you st stop the game change this to now 2 and this to minus 2 I think let's play it again okay yes it's looking good so the camera pivot should be the camera pivot position y should be 2 and the main camera position z should be minus 2 okay 
and then in order to stop the uh, jiggle right here uh, if you select this uh, interpolate make sure that you change this to interpolate after this let's go ahead and select the grass in the environment and let's remove the mesh collider for them from all of them so this is all of the grass as you can see so just simply remove the mesh collider from them that should be it now if you play the game our player will be moving perfectly fine as you can see here is the player now as you can see the camera is following the player perfectly fine as you can see okay for now we don't have any camera movement okay we can't rotate our camera to the left and right okay for now the camera is just simply following the player as you can see okay so now in the next video we're going to continue our work on our camera controller